welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. Not looking glamorous, so I'm coming to you bare face. My hair is pulled back in this little scarf. I'm looking very ashy, as you can see. So I thought, why not get myself together um, while we chat? So on today's video, this is, by the way, this is uh, Clinique. This is pretty much what I use on my face. My mother started me on this. Uh, Clinique, it comes with like a day cream and a night cream in the same container. On today's vlog, we are going to see my new piece of furniture. I got gifted a new piece of furniture, which is meant for the dining room. Um, it's meant for the dining room, but I am using it in my entryway. And I bought a new hair product that I'm going to show you briefly. And we're gonna be going shopping. That's right, that's right. So yeah, I'm just trying to moisturize this ashy skin. You know, we are in the middle of winter. I don't feel like wearing makeup today, y'all, okay? I'm not wearing makeup. We're not doing all of that today. But I do feel like I should take care of my skin. So I can't stand being ashy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dry skin, dry, itchy skin. No, no. And that was this Bath and Body. Is this? Yeah, Bath and Body Japanese Cherry Blossom. You've seen me use this a number of times. This container was $16.50. Dermatology tested, not tested on animals, and it's vegan. It's made without parabens or artificial dyes. This is like some sort of multi bomb. I got that from my mother. Put some earrings on. Yep. So let's talk hair products briefly. So as you know, I've had my hair completely natural for the last three years. Um, I basically transitioned where I had relaxed hair for a while and then I stopped relaxing it for a year and then I cut it off. So what I call big chop because I cut off all the straight ends and then went completely natural. So what's on my head is three years of growth after that, you know, cutting process. Anyway, typically I use like a lot of creamy type hair products like this um, cream of nature twisting cream this is really nice it gives a lot of hold yeah it gives a lot of hold to my hair when it's in its completely natural curly form and um, it's super rich and creamy pure honey it says pure honey uh, rich coconut oil creamy shea butter no minerals no silicones no sulfates I like this stuff I like how it smells and again um, I use this when my hair is in its curly state so love everything about it the only thing is that it is water based so when my hair has been pressed or flat ironed I cannot use this because if I use this my hair will revert back to curly <laughs> so here's another product that I also use that I think has helped my hair retain length and just helps keep it conditioned um, is this also Shea Moisture product, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Cream, when, again, my hair is in its natural state. Ooh, don't want to spill it. But love this stuff, and it's not cheap, y'all. You know, <laughs> natural hair products are not cheap. Again, this is water-based, so I can't use it when my hair is pressed. So then there's this by Carol's Daughter. I can use this when my hair is pressed, Mimosa Hair Honey. Right, Mimosa Hair Honey by Carol's Daughter. It says for dry, brittled, and textured hair. Moisturizes scalp, conditions hair, controls frizz. It's got shea, cocoa, and nettles. The only thing is I don't like the smell. I'll be honest. After using it for a while, I don't like the smell. But it gives great shine, and it's great when I'm braiding my hair or doing natural hairstyles, but... It smells a little funky to me. <laughs> um, so I wanted something that would give me shine that I can use on my straightened hair that smells good and was good for me. So I found this 
I've never used this brand before, but I got it in the supermarket yesterday. Miel, Mieli. How do you say that? Miel, Miel, <laughs> Miel. Anyway, anyway, it is rosemary, mint, scalp and hair strengthening oil infused with biotin and encourages longer, healthier hair. And it can be used for daily use or as a scalp treatment or for split end care. So we're going to try it. And this was $10. So let me show you, you see the scale, this little bottle, this little bottle was $10. So, uh -huh. <laughs> don't laugh at me, oh, don't laugh at me. <laughs> no, y'all know. Y'all know I come on here looking worse sometimes. Um, so, I've got my hair, again, pressed, was pressed several days ago. The edges are looking a little ashy. Um, but the majority of the hair is still straight. It's in a bun. Let's take it out. So, of course, it's all crimped because it was in that bun. Mm, I actually like the body. I like the body. It's bodying. <laughs> Let's try this. Or a few drops. I like the smell. Mm. Very rosemary. Very rosemary and light. So I don't know. Are we seeing any difference? Are we seeing any difference? Says I should be able to put it on my scalp as well. Um, I'm getting quite a bit of gray hairs. But you know what? At this point, I don't even care. I don't even care. <laughs> um, she has earned her stripes. <laughs> right? Gray hairs come with wisdom and come with a life hopefully well lived hopefully well lived look at me just adding more and adding more parts of my hair that get dry i really don't see it making my hair greasy and i like how it smells so we'll have to try it to see if it does anything long term. I even put some on my edges, which I'm not putting any edge control on. Because again, edge control, a lot of them are water-based, so it will it will um, revert my hair. Even put some on my part. Because this part of my hair is always dry. So yeah, let me know if you've tried this stuff. Remember when these were popular in the 80s? It's like what's old is new again. Anyway, this is an old one that I found. Okay, let's go downstairs so I can show you the piece of furniture I got. Here she is. This is a sideboard cabinet with four doors from a company called hernest.com and it's part of the Helios collection. 
I absolutely love anything that looks like the sun. And you guys may know that gold is one of my favorite colors along with yellow. Hello, I'm a Leo. <laughs> Anyway, apparently this is part of the Helios collection and it says Helios is the male god of the sun in Greek mythology. This collection comes in silver and in gold and you can also get it in a smaller size or you can get it as a coffee table um, depending on your needs. Again, this was intended as a sideboard cabinet in your dining room, but I'm using it in the entryway. I really love that this piece is 68 inches across, so it is quite a substantially sized piece and the shelves are deep enough to be very functional. If you go on their website, you'll see her nest has all kinds of coffee tables, TV stands, sideboards, buffets, makeup vanities, bathroom vanities, dining tables, dining chairs. I really love this vanity here because it looks like the one I have from Impressions Vanity and the one I have cost over $2,000. But look at the price on this one. How about these two dining room chairs or upholstered blue velvet chairs. I could totally see using them in any space, not necessarily a dining room for $3.99. Or a pair of these two rattan dining chairs for $1.59. They're kind of cute, right? And very modern. If you check out their website, definitely use my promo code HAB20 and you'll get 20% off everything. 20% off everything. When was the last time a brand gave you 20% off? <laughs> anyway, this is how the product came. It was in parts and Kenton and Kareem helped me put it together. Some of us like putting together furniture pieces. I'm not one of them. So thank God I have some task masters. <laughs> but I'm sure you can find somebody else to help you do it or you might have to pay someone. But they did it in a couple of hours. And yeah, shipping was really, really fast, really, really fast. And again, use the discount code so you can get 20% off. I can't wait to show you how I style that sideboard cabinet and update my entryway. But first, let's go to the grocery store because I want to pick up some fresh flowers and a few other things. <laughs> Oh, these are pretty, but I want some tall ones. Let's see what they have for Valentine's Day, though. Nice. Who are these, Boo? Who are these? Compass. Is it? It says, I don't know, it says golden berries. Never seen this before. It's not kumquats. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I got my own Ooh, look at this. I'm ignoring you, boo boo. What is this? Red currants. Wow. Chile. Chile. Should I try these? Vitamin C. And these are grape. Well, of course they're grapes. Jelly, jelly berries, they're calling them. Um. Ooh, this chocolate bark looks yummy. Any of you planning something special for Valentine's Day? Or is it just going to be another day? Anyway, I'm here primarily for some flowers. Focus Habiba, let's go. We're at the flowers, we're at the flowers. We're at the floral section. What do we want, Habiba? What do we want? We could get some of these. Marimila. Is that what they're calling them? What are these called? What are these called? This is Marinela. Interesting. Or I kind of wanted something either red, you know, we're going to Valentine's or pink. Hmm, I think I'll like the lilies. Lilies might be nice. Or some hydrangeas. 
with the blue and white to go with my vase. These are eight dollars. Mm. Look at the tulips. How much are the tulips? The tulips are seven dollars a bunch. Orchids are always nice, but they're nice in like a cluster. Wow, so one of these is like nineteen ninety nine. That's fourteen. That is just a pot. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I have pots, but if I got, I have a vase is what I'm really trying. That blue and white vase on the console, that's what I, I want to put flowers in there. Um, but I love the orchids. Yeah. really love this whole arrangement. This is like $100. So all it is is, yeah, if you bought about one, two, three, four, how much? We're in the math. Fifteen dollars times four. Sixty. Sixty. All right. So you would save yourself forty dollars. Basically forty dollars if you made the arrangement yourself. Yeah. But I mean, this is beautiful for like a large dining table or a console. Yeah. So I'd want to create something like this or just a vase of flowers. I think it would be cheaper to get the flowers. <laughs> Same impact. Oh, no. I think I'll do this in the spring. Yeah, winter time's a tough time. Yeah, I'll do this in the spring. Can you say this? Phalaenopsis. Phalen. Phalaenopsis. Say it. Phalaenopsis. Phalaenopsis. Yeah. Orchid garden. Wow, this one's eighty. This one's also a nice impact because you have the vivid yeah. fuchsia color color reminds me of my mother dresses she used to wear when she was younger he's a cute the little money tree I have a big one but they even put a little ornament on it yeah, for the Chinese, <laughs> Chinese New Year for Chinese New Year right for Chinese New Year's New Year, in February 10th oh February 10th Year of yeah the dragon. right I was thinking of getting like Kareem something with a dragon on it because yeah. he was born the year of the dragon yeah, year of the dragon or you could buy these ready-made arrangements for anywhere from $20 to $30. But personally, I like being able to create them myself. I mean, this is cute. This is nice if you don't want to be bothered. But yeah, I think you are you get more for your money if you make a bouquet yourself. Happy Valentine's Day coming up soon. We also have roses. I considered some red roses, but um, yeah, is that good or bad? That's good. That's good. Yeah, usually a dozen that can go up to twenty dollars. Hmm. I loved all the floral selections they had. We didn't pick up roses this time, but we did pick up flowers. Anyway, let's walk through. Let's see what else is in the grocery store that I haven't already seen. Let's see what temptation is out there. <laughs> we are in the Norty line. We're in the Norty section. Yeah, actually, I just wanted to get some mints. We're in the Norty section. <laughs> oh, all right. Um... What did I have before? I don't remember, you know, what I had before, but I know it was gluten-free. Because, see, they're not all gluten-free. That's the challenge. I don't feel like making cake from scratch. This is where I get the uh, gluten-free cake mix. So, see, they got the gluten-free from Wegmans um, cake mix. They even got biscuits and cookie. Yep but I prefer making it from scratch myself. All right, I got cookie sheets, right? Yep, I got baking pans, pirate's dishes, aluminum foil. Oh, you know what I learned actually recently? I was thinking how I wanted to get another cutting board, the rubber one. You know, these rubber or plastic ones. 
and I saw a video with a doctor talking about how you know they're finding more and more plastics in our you know not only in the ocean but in our bodies yeah. and how it's contributing to a lot of problems including cancer because every time you cut yeah, on one of these a yeah little tiny fragments they're finding um, up to like a credit card worth mm -hmm. of plastic in a person's body yeah. um, from using these cutting boards so they recommended only using glass cutting boards or wood wood or bamboo yeah. basically natural products because these um, right. yeah the plastics contribute to what they call hormone disrupting they're like hormone disruptors anyway so I'm not getting a plastic cutting board which I had attempted to before yeah um, hmm. I'm just using it to take off makeup yeah. even have black hair products they, they, here what this is what they call them Look, what right here. <laughs> textured, textured hair, hair. <laughs> That's what we are now, right? Textured hair care. Oh, yes, anyway, yeah, I like Kenton. You barely have hair. <laughs> I like the Carol's Daughter line. Um, and Miriam uses this stuff too. Of course, we have different type of hair. I've heard a lot of good things about this brand. And Camille Rose. I'm trying to figure out what kind of oils to use on my hair while it's in its silk press state. I've never tried this one. This is Taraji P. Hansen's line with the little built in comb. Let's see how this works. Some supermarkets, they spread out all the gluten free stuff, it's like per aisle mixed in but here they have a section dedicated for gluten-free stuff and i just noticed this is new this annie's gluten-free and chewy granola bars i haven't had a granola bar in years lemon and they got lemon bars too that are gluten-free yeah i think i'll try that i'll try that i mean even if you're not a gluten-free person king author is like one of the best brands when it comes to flour for baking. They even have gluten-free Oreos. Okay, this is new. They didn't have the mint before. Not that I want the mint. Mariam would like mint. They got the double stuff. Ooh, I think I'm gonna try the golden. Oh my God, oh my God, Kenton. You're such a bad influence. <laughs> such a bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> look at us totally oh, bumming. We look so bummy, boo. <laughs> look so bummy out here in these streets. Don't nobody bump into us. <laughs> we got to promote North Carolina. Got to be North Carolina grown, raised, and caught, made in North Carolina. So here you have, we have some strawberry jam. We have some bone sucking sauce, yeah. sweet southern sauce. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have some mustard sauce, pecans, old mule, Carolina dry rub, tata sauce, tata, George's original barbecue sauce, quarter sauce, <laughs> uh, toffee. Oh, do you see the trains up there? See the little trains in the store? We are not a pork family in general we're not but if you like barbecue and pulled pork i guess you should try this memphis style barbecue pulled pork how much it's like five dollars yeah 4.49 roughly and they got the chicken dip for 7.99 actually this is what am i saying this is eight dollars eight dollars eight dollars pulled chicken not my thing, but I know people like that sort of stuff. Okay, let's see what it's Kenton up to. Oh, he's getting me the yogurt. I wanted the, um, the yogurt that helps your stomach, that helps gut health, sorry. Kefir, the kefir strawberry. Yeah, 
I like this stuff. So we're on our way out. On our way out. Look at these cute cookies. Look at these cute cookies. Well, they're cute, but... Ah, I like these ones better. A little sloppy, but these are pretty. Italian small tray. I don't need any. All right, boo-boo, let's go. Lego. Thank you for shopping with us. We're back home and now it's time to talk about the elements of an entryway or all the things you need for an entryway to feel functional and beautiful. Number one, storage. So I have this shoe storage on the other side of the entryway. Very functional, nothing fancy. I think I got this from Amazon about a year or two ago. I hate the clutter in the front. Now I have this beautiful piece from Her Nest, and like I said, it was intended for a dining room, but you could certainly use it in an entryway. I like the metal on the base of the cabinet and how it's raised, and I also like the deep shelves. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it off because you know how you get all those little white pieces of foam from the packaging? That's what I'm cleaning off. If I didn't have a separate coat closet, which I do, I could easily store hats and gloves and scarves since it's in the front of the house, but I'm going to put things like bug spray, you know, mosquito repellent, uh, sunblock, basically all the things that you might have out during the summer that's clutter and hand sanitizer, uh, more sanitizers and antibacterial wipes and toilets and masks. So now I have a place where I can put them neatly out of sight, but easily accessible, right? Because again, it's at the front of the entryway. And since a girl likes to collect vintage china, now we have some extra space to put it. <laughs> can a girl have more plates or enough plates? I don't think so. And hey, I'm not the only one with this habit, okay? My husband, Kenton, appreciates vintage china. So that's why we both collect china. <laughs> so did you see that? I have like a whole extra box. Um, yeah, you would think I don't have kitchen cabinets. I do, I do, but this is great to have extra storage. And so this piece is absolutely perfect as a buffet in your dining room or like I'm doing, just extra storage in the entryway or anywhere you basically want to store some extra supplies that you want out of sight, but you want it held in a beautiful space. Things should be functional and beautiful at the same time, right? So as you can see, this Helios 68 inch gold sideboard buffet really holds a lot really holds a lot <laughs> but again you can get the smaller version if you don't want something so large now that we've tackled storage the next element in our entryway is a mirror every entryway needs a mirror <laughs> because mirrors reflect light make the space feel bigger but from a practical point of view you need to be able to see yourself on your way in and on your way out your guests would appreciate it I like, you know, things that look vintage, that have a lot of detail, but you may prefer something a little bit more modern. Third element is a doormat or rug because we need to be able to collect any dirt that's coming into the house on your way in, right? And so, yeah, we tend to take our shoes off in the house. Um, although, you know, I know not everyone does this, so I do think that every entryway requires a rug to catch the dirt, but also because it's beautiful on your way into the house. 
Number four, we need some lighting, right? So you might have a beautiful chandelier and that is absolutely lovely to have a nice chandelier in your entryway. I have a basic light in this entryway. So I'm adding a lamp, a table lamp, because that's easy to change or switch up. Um, I love this lamp. This is an old lamp I've had for over 10 years. I like this detail with, I think it's supposed to be a peach and some leaves on the side. Next, we need a catch-all or somewhere where you drop, you know, little small things like a pen, like candy, like glasses, keys, you know, any little thing that you drop as you come in or as you leave. This one is a crystal leaded glass. I'm also adding some candy on the side. The next element I absolutely love in an entryway are flowers. Flowers or any kind of plants, but especially flowers. Or you can do both. Have flowers, fresh flowers, not fake flowers. <laughs> and a plant. It just brings life and nature into the space. To personalize the space, adding some artwork or some pictures or both. If you have the room, do both. Um, is really nice. Even though I am not a minimalist, by far, I've tried to put it together without over cluttering the space. So what do you think? Keep in mind, again, this is a very long wall as you enter the house. The last really practical element for an entryway, of course, is seating. Somewhere to put your shoes on or to take your shoes off. However, I feel like this chair doesn't look good. The scale is off and yeah, I'm not feeling it. So let's switch it to one of my ghost chairs. I think this is a lot nicer. Um, I like the smaller scale of the chair and I like that it allows the sideboard cabinet to shine. Certainly, if you don't have a chair, you could use a bench or a stool. So previously, my entryway was just somewhere we passed through. I really didn't give it much thought. And this is what the before looked like. As you can see, that little table was not the right scale for this large wall. And it was always kind of cluttered. But now... It's not cold. So let's pretend I have my shoes on. I would take it off. Put it in the shoe cabinet and go on in through the rest of the house. Or when I am leaving, I grab my shoes, I have a seat, and I put my shoes on. Here's an alternative way I style the entryway cabinet. I have some artwork above instead of a mirror. I've also added some wood elements. And then here I have a large plant on the cabinet. And I love how the sun is shining through a different lamp. And there's just so many different ways you can style your space. I hope this video inspires you to give your entryway a refresh. And I hope you enjoyed this vlog as a whole. Our hair chat, going to the grocery store, picking up some flowers, <laughs> hanging out with Kenton. And of course, don't forget to check out Her Nest. I really appreciate them uh, gifting me the cabinet. Yep, use the code HAB20 for 20% off everything, ladies and gentlemen. Everything. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.